Alright, it's time for another What's in the Box. Even though I don't necessarily like that title, because I know what's in the box. It's coming from Goodman Games. And it's only taken two and a half years to get here. And unfortunately, it's not what I ordered from the Kickstarter, but I'll take what I can get because after not getting responses on the Kickstarter page, expressing my frustration, even to the point that I finally put on the Kickstarter page, how do I get my money back? <laughs> and then I was on Discord talking to somebody and they said, just get the email and email Goodman Games. So I did. And I told them the problem and this is how they fixed the problem. Part of how they fixed the problem. So, let's see what's in the box. My kids were the ones that colored it. And that's pretty cool. Now I just gotta figure out. Alright, so there we go. The DCC Player's Handbook. I guess it's the Everything Handbook. Because the rules are in there. And this is what I like about it. It's just like the Bible, or the Book of Mormon. It's got thumb tabs. <laughs> and I know that's a dumb thing to say, but check this out. It came with all kinds of stuff. We've got the... Uh, if it'll open... The judges screen... Great artwork. And then a little newspaper article that I'll probably hang on my wall. I don't know. Got some art. Got a little bookmarker that I still need to use. Probably when I'm done reading, it's got a character sheet on it, so that's pretty cool. Maybe when I'm done reading the Iliad and the Odyssey, I can find a book to use that bookmarker. It's got a pad of character sheets. Man, that is awesome it's already got four characters ready for you and some stickers the idea is that when a character well character player finishes the adventure I'm supposed to give him a sticker but I might find other things to do with that sticker because I've got kids there's a nice little folder for me to keep stuff in So when I get to the point where I can write Adventures for DCC, there's already a folder for that. And then we've got modules. Chaos Rising, number 89. This one is for levels 1 to 5. So not a funnel. Looks pretty fun. And then we've got some robot ones, Frozen in Time, 79, um, Level 1 Adventure by Michael Curtis, get some of this action going, there we go, that might be better. Yeah, that one doesn't want to open. Then we got 78, a level 2 adventure. Um, Fate's Full Hand. I really like the art on this one. It's pretty cool. It's really cool. I think I might be most excited about that. Running it or playing it. And this one. The one with the brain on it. We won't call it an Intellect Devourer because that might be copyrighted for another game, but Colossus Arise, it is number 76. It's a level 8 adventure. I hope there's at least one funnel in here. I haven't really looked at them all because this one's a level 3. The Sea Queen Escapes. This one looks pretty cool too. 
And then we've got the 13th Skull, a level 4 adventure. I'm doing very good with this camera. So there you go. Maybe I'll do another better show when I have someone to run the camera for me. The Emerald Enchanter. Number 69. A level 2 adventure by Joseph Goodman. Dark Overlord himself. And then a level 1 adventure. Doom of the Savage Kings. So everything's level 1. I'm going to have to come up with my own funnel. There's also this really cool DCC sticker. DCC RPG sticker. And I'm going to try and put it on the back of my car, but I don't know if my wife will let me do that. So I said that this is part of them making up for it after I was emailing the guy that hooked me up with this package. He sent another apology letter and said he really wanted to make this up to me and gave me $40 credit for DCC products at drive through RPG now. So I've got some third edition stuff, a, a book about vampires, uh, I got how to write adventures that don't suck, and some other cool DCC products. I'll talk about that on one of my podcasts later. But until then, mahalo and godspeed.